what's going on still here in jamaica on vacation it's coming to an end very very soon but let me get into this real quick right jamar the so-called lord jamar I, I really can't stand that dude so this dude was on um art of dialogue saying that a big music exec tried to i guess have sex with him invited him into some like bathhouse or like a pool or something like that with a bunch of niggas in there some something to that effect you guys can go watch the art of dialogue um interview and jamar i ain't calling him no lord so jamar said he's not getting in in the in the pool and he said that he told them that that's some gay sh gay stuff or or they're gay or something to that effect then he went on to say if the guys had tried something it would be murder you know how he talks like he's a like he's a killer i, I don't i don't like that guy and i don't like him because i'm jamaican and he talks a lot of shit about jamaicans for whatever reason i don't know but he talks shit about us right so this guy was like, ah, if they tried something, it would have been murder and blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting there watching this like, so this guy really expect people to believe him? He really expect people to believe that bullshit story. Here's why I don't believe that story. One, Large Amar, sorry, I said, I forget, I should not be calling him that. Jamar. Um, Fat Joe. Uh, what's the other guy? Rick Ross. They love to talk. The game, too. He talks a lot, right? People who like to talk, they'll eventually run out of something to talk about, and they'll pull from their reserves just to talk about something and with all the years of allegations of harvey weinstein and all these guys having sex with women and you know the, the the gay rumors or whatever with kevin spacey and and tank and all these things how is it that large amar a guy who talks so much did not talk about what almost happened now i can understand if because some men, if they were raped or something like that, they will not come out and speak about that because of a man's pride. He, he's not going to come out and talk about that. He's going to be embarrassed. But this is something that almost happened, according to Jamar, and he stood his ground. So with a man like that who loves to talk, he should have had no issues speaking about it back then. So that's one reason I, I don't believe him. The second reason I don't believe him is this. I like the group um, Brand Nubian, right? Grand, um, Grand Puba, Sadat X, love those guys. I'm not a fan of Jamar. I never was. In the 90s, the popular people in that group was Grand Puba and Sadat X. Nobody paid much attention to, to Jamar. He was the least important person in that group. Why would an exec try to fuck him? Why? As far as I'm seeing with all these free coughs and gay parties and they're trying to it's, it's the it's the important people the the popular people in groups or or whatever are in a certain genre of music or or whatever these are the ones who get called they get selected or they're involved in these immoral activities who was jamar in the 90s jamar was just a member of oh it's that Rasta guy, that, that Rasta guy from uh, Brand Nubian. 
Nobody really cared. It's just like not, Naughty by Nature. When people think about Naughty by Nature, they think about Vinny and Tretch. I don't know the other guy's name. I don't. When we think about A Tribe Called Quest, everybody knows Q-Tip and Fife Dog. Who's the name of the other guys? I don't know. So, so who is Jamar again? We know Sadat X and, and Grand Pooba. So why is it an exec is going to try to fuck you? I don't buy that story. And, and that guy, Jamar and Fat Joe, are, are two of the guys who always have a story. And I don't believe any of them, especially Fat Joe. Because he always talks like he's everywhere. He talks like once there's something exciting or something groundbreaking or a milestone or whenever something happened, yeah, I was there. I was there with Tupac. Yeah, Biggie used to call me every day. Yeah, we, yeah. I don't know how Biggie finds so much time to be talking to everybody every day. Because according to them, Biggie and Jay-Z used to go out and have dinner every night or every evening. Buster Rhymes used to talk to Biggie quite often, according to him. And I more believe Buster Rhymes than Fat Joe. And according to Fat Joe, Biggie spoke to him every day. Plus, Biggie had other friends. Plus, he had his junior mafia friends. And he had to be going to the studio and smoking weed. And he does all of that in 24 hours every day. And Fat Joe wants us to believe this shit. So I put Jamar and Fat Joe in the same category of guys who just talk a lot of shit. I don't believe that story Jamar is telling. I'm not buying that shit. No. No. I don't believe that shit. He's one of the guys who would have to show me proof. Fuck out of here.